Hey guys, welcome back to 6 Covered. Appreciate you showing up. I am in Missouri, Nixa, Missouri, getting ready to, uh, got one more week and then we'll be headed off to Oklahoma. Kind of want to go over my NRL stuff and I always get a lot of questions in, in the comments section and kind of just be able to hit it all and answer it all with this video. I'll start off with the Pro Hunter 2. This is made by Seekins. Did a couple of videos on it. I'm gonna do a video after this talking about it. Actually had a chance to shoot this in a few, I think three or four matches now. Kind of go over just the rifle, so that'll be its own deal. Um, tripod, really right stuff. This is the basically the inverted version that I actually cut down. And people asked if I did a video on that and I have not. I took some video footage, but I got burnt out there for a while. So I don't think I have a video out on this. We'll basically cut the two legs so that this is at my kneeling height. You'll see a OBI basically attachment where I can hook stuff like my binos if I'm gonna use a rifle up here. Most of the time I have the Vortex Furies locked in when I get ready to go to a stage. But that's, that's that, so we'll put these here. Some of the things I get people asking me about are these, these are Red's knee pads. I've had these for over 20 something years and these have worked really well, still work really well, but you can't buy these anymore. But they do make other versions similar to this, but Red knee pads, shin guards, these were uh, back in the day paintball. Um, basically knee pads so you can run and slide. Mechanics gloves, just some multi-cam. Um, this belt's out of North Carolina. I really like this clip here. Basically it's kind of like a magnet. Clips on, but you'll see um, my Kestrel and one and two magazine holders. So these are by these are the G-Code Scorpions. They fit a lot of different stuff, but they just, that's basically what I run. This is a Schmedium bag by Armageddon. It is filled with sand, so it's got heavy fill and then some partial light fill. I took a little bit out of it. It's just a little bit lighter than the normal Schmedium, but it, it feels like it's just sand, so it still has that good feel for putting your rifle on. Last year I ran this Alaskan Guide Bino Harness and I actually switched. This is a, it's a really nice harness, works well. But I actually switched to this Allen. This is for fly fishing. It's a lot thinner profile. So when you go to lay down shooting prone, because I don't, I don't run my binos here anymore. Um, gives me, I can get to the ground a little bit lower. The Spur Scientific Talking Timer works really well. A lot of guys, I'll see them out on the field, add one second to it so when you start, it'll say four minutes or six minutes or whatever time you want. Um, that's kind of the little trick to running these is just add that one second so when you hit it, you know you actually hit the start button because it'll say four minutes. Uh, the triple pull by MDT. This is uh, very beneficial and can also hinder you thinking you're going to be high enough and then you're wasting time and actually having to run to the tripod. So that can be problematic. So when the rifle's on here, it is a little bit lower than what your rifle would be, but more than likely, if this isn't working, you'll have to go to a tripod of some sort. So the triple pull is very uh, useful in a lot of different aspects. You can narrow it up. Then it's uh, basically the same height as this. But if you need to shoot anything higher, you're definitely going to have to go to a, your tripod being extended. But these definitely come in handy, but can hinder you when you're trying to think you can use this and it's just not going to be high enough. 
the uh, ear pro these are the howard lights been using these forever you can see the wires are jacked because i've been using it so long and it's starting to wear out but i run these with the gel cups and they're comfortable all day i got a ton of different inner ear ones some pretty expensive ones but i always seem to go back to those um, dst precision this is a data card or arm board but it's got basically your front and then it's got a bottom and a top and it works good i kind of set mine up where if i have four targets this still has stuff on it so Distance is 138, 276, 250, 467 when I'm showing them in the NRL videos. And basically that was stage 14. My elevation was 0, 0 0.9, 0 0.7, 2.3. And then whatever my wind's going to be, I can put it in there. This section tells you uh, one target, four positions, two targets, two positions. Or on this stage where you see the X, I actually had four targets, one position. This stuff works really well. I was running this one for a while. This one works well, but the uh, this stretchy stuff started wearing out right here. So I switched to this one. Seems to be holding up a little bit better. So DST Precision. When it comes to the bag, you can see I have the one with the scabbard in it. And the reason why I run this one is with this, uh, inverted basically single leg you know one piece that slides it's pretty damn long so when i'm wearing it i can run the legs all the way down here and then it fits in there really well another magazine um, mag holder just kind of as a backup see here's some auto pros these are really good ear pro that are you know, fit, fit inside your ear basically, not earmuffs. Got tools, different tools for tightening stuff, extra batteries. I keep my ammo in here. So I'm running the Burger 144. These are the hybrids, the long range hybrid target in 144s. They seem to be working really well. And then down in the bottom, I got rain gear for not only myself, but for my rifle, which is here. And it's not just rain gear, it keeps all the dust out. The last match we were at, the side-by-sides would drive by as they were hauling people back and forth. And we had, we had decent wind, so it was blowing a lot of dust around. So it's nice to be able to cover up your action, especially if you got it where it's not dry and you're running some type of grease or oil, that stuff starts to stick in there pretty well, so. But this is the Eberly stock. I don't know what model this is. I think it's a, it doesn't say on here. I remember, I remembered it one time, but I forgot. Maybe I'll, I'll try to put that in somewhere. But that's basically the gear, so. The mounts, the only thing I guess I didn't go over was the mount for putting on your bino. This is made by Really Right Stuff. And then on here, you can see the OBI for this is the male end that slides in. But this goes, this is basically the same size as the Arca rail, so you can mount it right to your tripod. And then this is the Vortex Fury with applied ballistics. Other than that, we have crispy boots. These things work really well, super comfortable inside. And been trying those this year, so those work pretty well. One of the things you'll see, and I'll get into it, it'll be its own video. Basically this one here, You can see that this is an arca rail with the bag bag plate on it. Now remember, I have to be under 12 pounds. So this rifle with the triple pull basically 
we had to shed some weight. So this is a prototype, and this is going to be coming out. And it's Servos Customs Firearm, which you can see right there. But this was uh, one of the prototypes. Here's one that the weight hasn't come out of yet, but if you guys are interested, and I'll do a video just on this, but you can see, I guess right here would be better. Servos Custom Rife Firearms. Our Harrison was nice enough to put my little logo on there. So, and then for the really cold matches, this thing I picked up on Instagram. These are the battery operated ones. And this jacket works really good. <laughs> so it's got toughened elbows, neoprene handcuffs or arm cuffs here that tighten. And it keeps you nice and warm. And depending on what setting you have on this three different settings will depend on how much the battery will last but I keep a couple extra and I just noticed that I found some Rice Krispies from the last match and a chocolate cookie so that's a score by itself here's what the batteries look like they actually have USB ports and the other ports so you can charge stuff while you're getting ready to shoot or you can charge your phone or whatever as long as you have the cord available and what I like about this one and that's probably dead no nope, this one's good still it's at 100% so the next video will be I don't depending on when I see this and which one I put out first but it'll either be on this and kind of go over this now that I've shot three matches with it talk about it in more detail. Hope you guys enjoy. See ya.